And the Coalition for Constitutional Reforms has called on the National Assembly demanding for an urgent passage into law of the Electoral Amendment Bill on its first sitting in 2021. The group expressed dismay over the slow process of the bill, saying that further delay of the process will negatively impact the Anambra elections as well as future elections. They also added that the quality of contributions during the public hearing of the bill is a testament which shows that the act, if amended, will help boost free, fair and credible elections in the country. All we seek is an enduring electoral reforms that will address the deficits in the electoral system and, among other things, provide for electronic transmission and publication of results, full biometrics for accreditation, conduct of general elections in one day, election, reform, um, election finance reform, elimination of statutory delegates, ensure women and youth representation. What we are asking the National Assembly is to give us a brand new electoral bill, the Independent National Electoral Commission Act 2021, on its first sitting in 2021 as a New Year gift to the people of Federal Republic of Nigeria. If the National Assembly chooses to delay this process until March 2021, which they uh, have stated in the, in, during the public hearing, what we will find is it will affect the number of 2021 elections. Uh, and there might be legal implications for uh, what exactly can be conducted or what part of the law or the part of the new electoral act uh, within her place on number elections. And away from the Electoral Amendment Bill, the Oyo State House of Assembly will on Friday consider the extension of uh, the tenure of the state's 33 local government caretaker chairmen and 35 local council development caretaker chairpersons. This was sequel to a letter sent to the Assembly by the Governor, Shei Makinde, on Monday, which requested the lawmakers to renew the tenure of office of the 68 caretaker chairmen whose appointment will expire on the 19th of December 2020. According to the letter, this is to avoid a vacuum in the governance of the local government councils. <clears throat> Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.